Okay, so in the last one we started building our layout for our um, our viewing post our viewing post fragment, and now I want to finish that up. But before I start, I just want to import an image, the image that we're going to use for the white colored heart, the heart outline basically is what you would call it. So I'm going to go and uh, import a new image asset. So go into res, right click drawable, new image asset, and I am going to find it on my computer. Computer. We just click action bar tab icons and then click on image here and let's find that image in my case It's on my desktop Instagram clone. There we go. And let's see heart outline is what we want So it's just a blank heart outline and what color? Um, I think just black is probably What we want. Yeah, that should be fine. That looks good. And I want to car it call it I see Heart outline. Now let's close the. Actually, uh, while I'm while I'm doing this, I'm also going to create the the red heart. So the red heart I'm going to create with a drawable file. So just go right click drawable, go to new drawable resource file, and this one we'll call I see heart I see heart red. And then you can close your project pane just to give yourself some more space. And we are going to build this heart. So a uh, layer list, oops, and let's see, we need to create an item, and then inside of the item we can put a shape, and I wish you could just write heart, but that's not the way it works. And we need to do we need this, put that inside of the shape, and shape, rectangle, and then we can close that, and then I need just solid and the solid will be FFF Oops. and I can close that one and then let's go size and uh, we can do height is 48 dp and then width is also 48 dp let's close that off and I've got way too much space here and then we're going to open up actually that's where we're going to close the shape and then close the item and then below that we're going to put another item and this is where we're going to put uh, the vector for the the, uh, the red heart so just go android drawable and then this is where we would point to our drawable vector for a red heart which we haven't made yet so vector heart red i haven't made that yet so now we're going to create another drawable file called vector heart red so we'll just open the project pane Right click on drawable, new drawable resource, go vector heart red, and OK. Close the project pane. And I didn't make this myself, I just found it on Google somewhere. Some other guy did it before. Uh, I don't remember what I Googled. I can see if I can quickly find it. I found it a long time ago. So maybe Android vector red heart. Maybe Android red heart. Or Android. programmatically red heart well I can't remember where I found it but I found it somewhere anyway so here it is just get it from the source code and this this will actually it should show it should show a preview of it over here I don't know why it isn't I'll close the preview and open it back up maybe showing rendering problems what do we got refresh there we go okay so there's our red heart and let's go over to the vector and there you have the red heart vector I'm definitely not an expert with like animation. I would say my definitely my weak points for Android is animations and vectors, material design stuff basically. So I I couldn't tell you how to make this, uh, but it looks like it's basically colors and then he points. He, these are like these obviously are coordinates, right? They must be just coordinates and it points. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm really not sure. But anyway, this is it. Here it is. Uh, this is and then this is the red heart now we have Basically, we were building the white outline here with the rectangle and then we put in a red heart right on top of it in the center So that is how we're gonna build our red heart now that's done We can go back to our view, layout view post and we can go down below our square image view here and We're gonna create a new relative layout and this one's gonna hold the red hearts or sorry hold the hearts so relative layout and the width, width is gonna be match parent and then 50 dp and this this relative layout is the one that's going to hold our our hearts 
So we're just going to call it relative layout two, and it's going to go below the post image. And inside of this one, we're going to put one more relative layout, but the width is just going to be 60 dp, and then the height will be match parent. And this is going to be called heart layout, and the background is going to be white. We need to make sure that it's white. And then in here, we're going to put our two image views for our hearts. So image view, the first one we'll make here and do 35 dp. And the ID, this is going to be our image heart red and center in parent true. And let's see, margin left, 20 dp. And then we can set the source to image part red and the source we can do our drawable part red and we want to set the visibility for this one to initially be invisible because unless they like it we want it to be invisible so now I'm going to copy that and do the same thing but we're just going to change a couple things this is just going to be image heart and this is going to be visible and I see this icy heart outline. And let's zoom in just a little bit here so we can actually see something. And you can see it actually is showing up. So if I zoom in very closely, you can see that the heart is actually showing up there. There we go. And then so to the right of this relative layout, we're going to just put another image view and that's gonna be for the actual speech bevel. So I forgot to import that. So let's go to the project pane open that up, go to drawables, right click, new image asset, and do the same things before action bar and tab icons, go to image, and let's, once again, I'm gonna navigate to my desktop. I wish it saved where you were at last, but and it should be a speech bubble. So that's gonna be what our speech bubble looks like for the comments. And just that's just an image that I found on Google. Nothing special there. Whoops, you probably can't see that. And hit finish. So now we have our speech bubble in there. I'm gonna close the project pane and we're gonna create another image view. So I'm just gonna copy this. It's gonna be pretty similar. Uh, this is gonna be speech bubble and center. No, we don't wanna do center and parent. We wanna do two, two right of the heart. I guess we just do two right of heart layout. That works fine. And the margin left will just be 10 dp because they're gonna be very close to one another. Uh, the drawables will be speech bubble. Oh, I forgot to name it. I think I named it. I gave it the default name, which was uh, forgot to name it. Oh, you can't rename it. Damn it. It's okay, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to import it again. It's a new image asset. So I'm gonna name it this time, I see speech bubble. And make sure to give it a black outline. Next, finish. So now I see speech bubble shows up there. We can close the project pane. Uh, that's good, it's visible, of course. Maybe a center vertical true. Okay, that looks pretty good. So there we have the heart and the speech bubble right next to each other. And so now below this relative layout, we're now gonna create another relative layout. And this one's gonna be match parent and wrap content here. Uh, I think we're on to relative layout three at this point. And so below, this one's gonna be below relative layout two. And we wanna do some padding, let's do 20 dp and margin margin bottom of 50 dp and that should be actually it for the pro oh, this this should be relative layout three let's maybe zoom out a little bit here so we can actually see what we're doing and inside so this one is now going to be kind of onto the text portions of instagram so this stuff here so you have like the likes and then you have the username the comments and then uh, there should be also a button that says view more comments if there's comments and then also a, like a timestamp thing that tells you how long ago that actually was posted 
So basically a bunch of text views here. So let's just do wrap content and wrap content. Hopefully I can uh, copy and paste a whole bunch of this. So let's just write in some dummy text so we can actually get a feel for what it looks like. So liked by Mitch, Tom, Mohammed. I think that's how you spell Mohammed or is it Mohammed? And 30 others. And text color, that'll be black. And text size, 18 SP will be good. ID, image, likes. So this we can copy, and we're gonna need one for the, the tags and the description. So I guess the caption will be one. Another one will be the thing that says, view more comments if, if there is comments. And then another one that says uh, like the timestamp. So how long ago it was actually posted. Okay, so that one's fine. Let's work on these three right here. So. What is this one gonna say? This one will say something like uh, Mitch Tabian, so that would be like the name of the person who posted, and then this would be like the the tags and the description. So this is just the caption: so Earthborn uh, Mountains, and that's all fine. This is, and then this will be uh, just the caption, I guess. Caption, we can just call it. Maybe image caption. Image caption, and then the next text oh we need to make this to the right no below put it put it below image likes let's do margin top maybe 15 dp there we go so that looks better that kind of looks like what it's supposed to look like we have kind of your likes and then below that the caption and then now below that we're going to do the comments the comments or the comments link also So like that would say maybe view all three comments and then that one would be below image caption and this one ID is going to be image comments link and we need a margin top of 15 dp and actually I should just copy this because they're more similar to that than the first one so this one is going to be the how many days ago it was posted so we could just say it posted three days ago and this, the color is gonna be different. We wanna use a gray color. And we wanna do below image comments link. And the ID for this one is gonna be image time posted, I guess. That looks good. So let's zoom out a little bit more here. Okay, so we have it saying kind of liked. I see, I wish this preview, or I hate filming on this resolution. It's just so damn small, or so so compact. So there we have, so the image view obviously isn't there because there's nothing. Uh, and then we have the likes, we have the, the caption, we have the co view more comments if there's comments, and then we have how long ago it was actually posted. One thing that's wrong though, this view three comments isn't supposed to be black, it should be actually gray. So let's change this to the gray color. There, that looks just like what Instagram looks like. Okay, are we done this layout? No, we're not. We still need our uh, bottom navigation view. So let's close, or actually just make the preview smaller and let's go below, where are we going below? Below the scroll view, I guess, because we don't need the bottom navigation in the scroll view. I'm just gonna use an include tag and go layout. And this is where we're gonna include our bottom navigation view. Okay, I think we are done with this layout. We should have everything we need here. I uh, got our bottom navigation. Obviously the image is gonna be in there, but it looks pretty good at this point. So hopefully that wasn't too long. And in the next one, we'll start actually building the fragment for this layout and kind of getting started with inflating it and putting real data into that layout. So I'll see you in the next video.